Hi, I'm Connie. What does it mean to be anchored? Easton's 1897 Bible Dictionary points to Hebrews 619 for the biblical definition. It says the word anchor is used metaphorically for that which supports or keeps one steadfast in the time of trial or of doubt. It is an emblem of hope. If you fear, put all your trust in God, that anchor holds. Bethel friends, Jesus is our anchor. It is made abundantly clear as our Staying the Course sermon series in Acts follows Paul's stormy journey to Rome. This September, one of the deadliest hurricanes in recorded history raged for 10 days in the Mediterranean Sea. Humanitarian relief is still desperately needed in its devastating aftermath. When these events occur, many Christian organizations provide relief and take the gospel to hurting people. It is often amidst turmoil and hardship that God's message is heard the loudest when we are fully surrendered to Jesus. You've no doubt heard the expression, let go and let God. Well, sometimes that's all we can do. When we place our faith and trust in Jesus, sharing the good news whatever the circumstances, we are doing exactly what God wants us to do and going in the exact direction He has planned for us. We don't need to be in a good place to share the hope of Jesus. In fact, when we step out of our comfort zone, whether we're there due to circumstances beyond our control or with purposeful intention to roll up our sleeves and get involved, we are anchored in Jesus, our rock, and free to fully engage. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. So take heart, Jesus loves us, and he is our anchor for all seasons. Isaiah 46, nine through 11 says, Remember what happened long ago, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and no one is like me. I declare the end from the beginning, and from long ago what is not yet done, saying, my plan will take place, and I will do all my will. I call a bird of prey from the east, a man for my purpose from a far country. Yes, I have spoken, so I will also bring it about. I have planned it. I will also do it. God's mission isn't hindered by anything and actually advances through hardship. So we can make the best of every season and situation and take part in what God is doing.